Uh, in the end, I... Uh, again, I just... Mommy! Are you okay? She passed out from all the pleasure I inflicted. I wouldn't accidentally kill her, would I? Hey! That dumb black fire thing is coming out! It's a lot smaller, but it's still a threat. Lydia, You can do something about this, can't you? Of course I can. This dark little thing can't possibly refuse my commands. Tend to stand against me? No, it's not trying to go into Cludy this time, is it? Hold it! If that happens... She's already like that as it is. If you toss insanity and megalomania on top of that... That would be horrible! Just thinking about it makes me... What? Would it really be that awful? Game industry would truly face its final moments. Flutie. Still has a lot of stamina. But it's still rather impudent trying to get inside me like this. No. Hang in there, Flute. What are you doing? You just said you could do something about it. Try really hard. I know. I know. It's just proving a bit too big for me. Flutie, if it's too much for you to handle, then I'll... I'll help you too, Plutia. Like hell we'd let you help! Right. If you get that power again, you might go crazy. It'll be fine. It was my power to begin with. And I've made companions, and have met kind CPUs like you now. So I'm sure that I'll... Ugh! Uh -huh! Disappeared? Plutia! Mommy! <sighs> hey, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. It sure gave me quite a thrill, though. <sighs> That's a relief. If you had gotten any worse than you are now, well... <sighs> While I was unconscious, I felt that maybe my personality got a little bit worse. Perhaps. Huh? What? <laughs> Shall I try out my new desires on you, Neppy Jr.? She hasn't changed at all, I see. Yes. As for this one... Mommy! <laughs> I'm not strange or, or deranged or anything. Really? Yay! It's Mommy! I'm sorry I worried you. In that case, don't laugh like that for no reason. It's bad for my heart. I, I'm sorry. You all accepted me so readily. It made me happy. Though I was fully under that power's control. Aw, and now my final chance to shine has been ruined. Oh, I'm so sorry for overstepping my bounds! Whatever. Just so you understand, I'll forgive you this time. Good job, Ray. You really, really, really tried your best. Good going, Mommy! You are super cool! Thank, thank you very much. Well, I don't like it. I'm the protagonist, but the final scene's all up in their faces, not mine. Now, now, you did a lot too. I mean, compared to me. Yeah, and compared to my sister. Yep, compared to my sister. Um, compared to Bert? Uh, you don't all have to say the same thing, you know. It's true! This other me was only here to make you look marginally less useless. What awful treatment. I was so looking forward to us making a great ending together. We demand better treatment. 
all of you? Give it a rest. Complaining after the final battle is goofy. We should all be high-fiving and being awesome. I think you were the first to complain. Bad Neptuna! Now, now, let's all stop there. Thank you for stopping me. You just butt right in whenever the hell you feel like it. Right. Even though you were a CPU for this world, you forced your way into ours. Totally! You and Plutia both just do whatever you want and give me persistent migraines! Aww, me too? Hey! I said to stop QQing! Nobody's listening to me. Um, I was listening. You're a good girl, Mommy. I guess these versions of our sisters aren't much different from the real thing. Yeah. They sound fun. Ugh, no more talky talky jabber walky. We gotta go surprise Isti and be all, hey, guess what? We saved the world by me ice cream. Come on! You won't get away from us that easy. We still have complaints to voice. Yeah, and you're gonna listen to every last one of them today! Hey, wait, no more. I mean, I wanna talk to you a bit more. Mommy! We're gonna have a race! Let's hurry and win! Huh? But... but my legs are still really wobbly. Then why don't we just walk? Uh, Rom and Ram? Uh... Hey! Let me hold your hand! Let me too. <laughs> Even at the end, our discussions are all over the place. <laughs> but isn't that so us? You're right about that. Come on, Plutie. Neckgear. If you're gonna sit on your tushies, you'll get left behind. Get it? Wait for me! You're not going to leave me behind ever again, Neptune. Damn, it's all over. I guess I had a little fun. Maybe I'll call it a day. Hmm, where should I go to stir up some trouble next? This was how Neptune, Plutia, and the other CPUs crossed dimensions and saved both worlds. One month after these events, Planetune had mostly been rebuilt and peace returned to both worlds. However, that is not to say that there are no longer any problems. This does not seem as though it will ever disappear. Yes. Is it all right to have made something like this? Well, Neptune and Plutia are happy about it. yodle I'm here to play, Isti! Oh! Hello! Plutia is in the Basilicom. Cool! Laters! The time intervals have stabilized thanks to this gate. So now both worlds advance at the same pace. Correct. Who would have thought we could apply such an effect to game industry? Isti! I'm gonna go play with Nappy in her world! Hmm? Neptune was on her way to our Basilicom. Huh? Did we pass each other? When I see those two, it feels foolish to think deeply about such things. Yes. For the time being, shall we just leave the gate be? The others do not seem to be concerned with it at all. No matter how much we fret, things will be as they will. Oh, Noir, please. I'm asking you nicely to go there together with me. I'm fine. Just go by yourself. Why are you so against it? Everyone else comes and goes all the time. Because it's embarrassing, isn't it? I mean, looking at another you. You're thinking too hard. Come on, let's go. No, thank you. Go by yourself. I wanted to see what it'd be like to have twin big sisters. Everyone else is so lucky.
Hey, buddies! I made some tea! My special blend! Good job. Yay! Coffee's here! Hey, put me on top of your head again! Me too? Oh, that's such a simple request. Up you go! <laughs> awesome! I'm so high up! Um, maybe it's a bit too scary after all. You can handle this loud environment really well. Once you get used to it, it's not bad. I actually think your sisters are louder than him. <laughs> I can't deny that. But like you said, it's not bad once you get used to it. In that case, give me one. I vehemently refuse. Hey, Cappy! Move around more! Okay, just grab on tight so you don't fall off. Don't go too crazy like last time and put a hole in the wall. <laughs> Careful's my middle name. Your little sisters sure are small, Lady Blonde. They need to eat more to grow up big and strong. Huh? But we're CPUs, so we won't grow. Right, Rome? Uh-huh. What? Using that old CPU excuse? Don't give up. Where's your spirit? Yeah! Me. Hey, dumbass, don't make my kid sister cry. How unfair. I was certain we decided today was my turn. Unfortunately not. It has only been 22 hours and 38 minutes since I received Pishi. You cannot have her for another hour and 22 minutes. She called me Bird again. Whenever she calls me that, I feel as though my heart will melt. Um, excuse me, but I don't think Pishi is enjoying this. Did you just say something? There is no way that Pishi would not like being around me. That's absolutely correct. Pishi and I are bound together by a deep bond of love. referring to me. You must mean that Bert, right? Right? I hate both! No! Um, Bert? Uh, now they've both clammed up. I don't like it here. I'm gonna go see Neptune on flute. Oh, wait a moment, Peachy. I hope it's okay to leave these two alone like this. It should be, right? Sorry, Bert. I'm going home too. Oh. Hmm. That's one problem solved, but we haven't really dealt with the seven sages, have we? We haven't found a way to give those kids their human forms back. It makes my heart feel heavy. Anyway. I wonder what's going on over here. <clears throat> you are tardy. And where have you been, Missy? Huh? Don't yell at me all of a sudden, you jerk! Please calm down, Father. You startled Noir. Come on. How can I remain calm at a time like this? Hmm? Who are these children? You didn't fall back into kidnapping, did you? How rude of you. These girls are my daughters. Huh? Wait, what? Then you were able to return them to their human forms? Yes, thanks to you. We are indebted both to our father and to you. Um, don't mention it, I guess. But how did you manage this? Actually, I'm not sure. I went out grocery shopping and they were like this when I got back. It happened so fast, we don't know what happened either. This cool, pretty man came to the Basilicum, and then we fainted and woke up all normal. A cool, pretty man? Who... Who cares? As long as they're back to normal, 
That's all that matters to me. Pardon us! With that, I've made amends for my past misdeeds. I've repaid my debt to Noir. Now, what shall I do with my gorgeous self? Yo, Granny! I finished packing up the boxes we're gonna ship today. Silence! Do not refer to me as Granny. When we're in this place, call me President. You don't feel like a Prez, Chump. But you're working hard growing these... eggplants. Say what you will. <laughs> I failed before, but with these, my potential is limitless. I'll use the power I get from these, and the next time, those CPUs will... Power of eggplants, huh? As long as I get paid my wage, I got no complaints, chump. I'll be sure to pay you what we agreed on. Maybe even a little extra for overtime. Uh, that's tempting and all, but I have a second job already. Oh no! What happened to him? Maybe he was in a big train accident? Don't be ridiculous! He's always this late. Just get started already. N no we can't begin unless everyone is present. Uh, sorry to keep you wait. Oh, here at you. I'm so glad. I was worried about you. Don't make that half-assed apology to me, rat. You're always late. Do you even care? I got another job, so sorry. And quit the rat business. That is a vile rodent slur. So, uh, we're all here. Let's begin the meeting for the newly reformed Seven Sages. That rat shouldn't be here in the first place. He's absolutely worthless. My worth lies in being a mascot! That alone puts our existences on different planes! Um... Our purpose today is to come up with the proper rules for a world protected by the CPUs. Um, excuse me, but are you two listening? Can it! This is no time for serious business. That kind of old lady's topic doesn't matter to me right now. But why? Please listen to me. Oh. Hm. It certainly takes a lot of guts to disrespect me. Whoa, I I'm so, so sorry. Stop, Jump, I'm serious. You're bringing back memories of that sadistic CPU. <laughs> We've all grown stronger, myself included. We'll try it again. Let's begin. Ugh, I can't dig it anymore. No more work, please. Come on, it's way too early to take a breather. The town still needs repairs, and we need the person who destroyed it to keep working. But, um, did I really destroy it? I don't think I have the power to, personally. You sure did. I saw it myself. Oh, I don't remember any of that at all. Well, I got all the details from Nick, so... I can't say you were solely at fault, but them's the breaks. Come on, let's keep it up. But I can't work anymore. Iffy, Ray Ray, I brought you both some electrolyte-rich refreshments. Oh, well, in that case, how about a short break? Yes, please! I'm saved! Oh, right on. You were just trying to go over there, Plutie. Uh-huh. I was holed up inside my basilicum for a whole week. So I wanted to come say hi. Oops, I let time get the better of me. Many apologies. <laughs> I wanted to show you something. Show me? I hope it's candy. I'm not telling. Uh, since we're right in front of the Basilicom, may as well. Iffy, Kappa, I'm here to visit. Oh my! Nap, nap. No, don't open the door! Huh? What do you mean? It's already open, isn't it? Holy pizza.
pizza, mother of cheese. Are these stuffed animals? See? I told you not to! They're so heavy! I can't move! Um, did I make too many? There are way too many! They can't all even fit in the Basilicom! Is this what you wanted to show me, Pluty Dearest? Uh-huh! I made one for all my new friends! Ray, and Copy, and Mr. Rat, and... Uh, no. You don't have to rattle them off in an organized list. I know them too. Up, up. Help me! I can't breathe too good! Huh? Wait a minute. I can't move. Not to make a lame pun, but we're stuffed in here. Over there's the noir one, the uni one, and that's the blonde one. Yes, yes, I know who these people are. Uh, my consciousness, it's slipping away. Hang on, Kampa. Now, hurry up and do something. While I'd love to oblige, uh, my body just isn't moving. Hey, Nappy. Uh, do you have a cure for this cuddly death trap? I was just thinking, it's so great that you fell from the sky and into this world. Huh? Uh, well, that's nice and stuff, but I don't think it's really useful at the moment. Thanks to you, I made so many more friends. And now the world is at peace. Okay, that's swell, old buddy. But please, help me take care of this before we chat about that. But... Unless I say it now, it'll be too embarrassing. Ugh! I'm at my limit! Ugh. Kampa! Open your eyes! Kampa! We're home, everyone! Huh? What are you doing, Neptune? Sweet! Stuffed animals are all over the place! Neptunior! Pico! You've come at the right time! Everyone's playing with the stuffed animals! Me too! How struggling to survive any way to play! Get them out of my way! Okay. Whoa! No, Pishi! Don't go jumping on them! <laughs> Let's be exactly like this from now on, Neppy! It's cool to hang out and stuff, but not like this, please!
Ugh, it's peaceful now. Boring! Hm. But if I screw shit up again, maybe it'll be even more interesting. I wonder what I'll do this time. Oh, an icky bug. I'm gonna get you, sucker. What the? A butterfly net? Hey! The hell you think you're doing with that? Jeez whiz, it can talk? Whoa, it must be a rare spawn. A super rare spawn. Hey, don't grab so tight. Wait, you? Why do you know where I am? Oh, but I don't know what it's saying. I guess we won't get to gossip. Bottles away! Huh? You don't recognize me? But aren't you? Yay! I want to show this off to everyone. After that, it's my specimen. Specimen? Hey, come on, don't say stupid crap like that. Let me go! 